again, friends. It's Janice Baylor. Thank you for joining me for another fun drop-in art brought to you by Perry County Council of the Arts and participating sponsors. Today we are going to make a really sweet little ornament, a little uh, Dr. Seuss inspired wonky little Christmas tree out of felt circles. If you would like to make this adorable fun little ornament, stay tuned. All the supplies and directions are coming right up. For today's project, you will need an assortment of colorful felt, a pair of scissors, a needle and some embroidery floss. Ask your adult helper if you need help threading your needle. And then to get started, basically what we're going to do <laughs> is create a little stack of little felt circles so that they look like this and they progressively get smaller in size as you go up or if you would prefer to think of it larger in size as you go down. So to do that, what I recommend you do is take one circle and make a little small circle. If you feel like you need to trace something, that's fine. You can certainly do that. Um, you could use a button or a cap, um, like a cap to a glue bottle or something like that maybe that you have handy, and just start cutting circles. And then I would put one on top of the other and cut a little bit larger each time. And I'm kind of alternating colors. You could do it in all one color if you wanted. And then we're going to just layer a whole bunch of the circles on top of one another until we get a little tree shape. So I'll show you how we are going to do that. So. I have a little bit extra of a gap between my blue circle and my pink circle there. So I'm going to take the blue circle and lay it on top of a color I want to use. So I'm going to use the red and I'm going to leave a little bit of a margin around the outside and then I'm just going to cut around that blue circle. just getting slightly bigger than the circle that I have. And I don't think it needs to be like a perfect circle. I think kind of the charm of these little trees is going to be a little bit the Whoville quality perhaps to them that they're a little wibbledy wobbledy. But just if you're going with the alternating, try to think about spacing your colors out a little bit. So here I've got all of those pinks and purples and stuff, maybe I want to break it up. And my next one of my other layers, I want to add a green. So I'm going to get a piece of green and just lay it on top. And then go around the outside just so that there's ever so slightly a little bit extra around the edge. You could do this with paper also or cardboard. You could paint. And then you add it to your stack. And I've already done a bunch just so you didn't have to watch me repeatedly cut circles, but I need a few more here in between my black and white layer. So I just take my circle, line it up, cut around it, leaving a little bit of extra around the outside. you have sort of like this conical shape of all the little felt layers and then what we're going to do to keep them together because you can see they don't want to stay together is break them down into a few sections and we are going to tie, um, thread them all together so take your needle and thread ask for help from your adult helper if you need help with this part but it's pretty simple and then we're just going to go up through the stack of our felt layers and just thread them on to our thread. Try to aim for the center, but again, I don't think that it's, you know, it's not too crazy um, important to be super, super perfect with this. Cause I think, especially if you just sort of cut them a little wibbledy wobbledy like I did, then it's kind of cute 
to have these little fun, not quite perfect tree. These trees in nature don't really grow perfectly, you know. So just thread them on. And then once you get a big stack, you can pull it down and just leave a little tail at the bottom so we can tie them together. And keep going till you have every one of them threaded all the way to the top. Once you have your tree all stacked, we want to, if you want to, you can add a star to the top. I made mine just sort of like a little diamond shape, a little wibbledy wobbledy again to go with my circles that are not quite perfect. But if you want to, you could trace a star. If you have a star punch, you could use something like that or a stencil to create your shape. And I'm just going to go up through the side of that and then down through the top area. And then this will allow it to sort of stand up on top of my tree like that. And then you'll just need to take your thread out and we're going to tie a loop. So you can have your adult helper help you with this too. So just fold it over, wrap it around your finger, and then you can just create a little loose knot. And then you can hang from that. So just cut the tail off. And down here at the bottom, we want to tie a knot to secure it in place. If you wanted to, you could create a stem here on the bottom with the extra piece of tail. If you have a little piece of brown felt, we could take it and roll it up into a little stem. Just tightly roll it from one end to the other. And then using your needle, you can just sew through a couple of times to catch that little seam that you've created. You could ask your adult helper for help with this one and just go around it a few times with your needle. And then we're just going to come back up through the bottom. And pull it up tight, bring it tight. And then to create your little stem, just go down through the center and catch that bottom circle. Pull your needle out through the other side and then just loop it around your center string a few times to create a knot. Or you could just tie a big knot at the bottom and you don't have to do this step. That's totally up to you how much sewing you want to do with it. And then you can just cut that off and fluff everything back out if you've smashed it down a little bit. And there you have an adorable little felt Christmas tree ornament. It's so cute. It'd be adorable to hang on your tree or somewhere else in your house. Thanks for joining me today. Stay creative, friends.